Tony Gomez show. I guess it's been a couple of weeks. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I've got my man, my brother, John Luna, eternal drummer, eternal photography in the house. How thank are you doing you. tonight, brother? Thank you for having me, Tony. I'm doing good, man. It's been a minute. Like, uh, like I was telling you earlier, man, it's been a while, but uh, glad to catch up, brother. I hope everybody can hear uh, me on this. Uh, I hope my mic's working and everything's working. It yeah, seems like look, everything's working. You sound working. great. You're looking cool, good. Man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. As you too, man. I miss you, man. It's been a while. Uh, we we kind of run into each other every once in a while at TFC while while our bands are are rehearsing. So it's always good to catch up with you and and whoever you're rehearsing with, whether it's War Cold or or the your ACDC tribute, man. I need to check that out. Or you know, yes, brother, man. That's such a that's such a treat, man. Because I just got the the, the Christmas bug. You know, and with all of us jamming, and, and, you know, I just, you know, next thing you know, I'm the last one there with Benjamin and Mike, and we're just talking ACDC. And we said, hey, dude, why don't we just start a little ACDC tribute, you know, after the new year, just, you know, we'll take it real nice and easy, get together whenever we can and take it from there. And here we are, you know, eight months later, we already got a show under our belt, and we're going to play the, 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 um, my third annual Baldi's Metal Brotherhood over at the House of Rock on October 12th. Nice. And then uh, we're looking at hopefully playing also along with the Young Classics on um, the uh, Christmas show too. Cool, so man. the guys are so generous, you know. I got the we got the best guys, you know what I mean. And, and yeah. um, it's it's been nothing but a blast, bro. It's been nothing but a blast. I didn't think I had it in me to <laughs> be able to pull off some of the the Brian Johnson stuff, man. His stuff is fucking hard. The back and blacks, the highs that he hits, and the the, the grittiness that he brings. So yeah. I'm still working on it and, and trying to do my best. And, you know, it's, it's whenever we're doing tri tribute bands, we always want to bring the best, man, because we know as, as fans of these bands, we want to hear you got to go right. You got to go all yes. out and do it right. I want to hear every drum note just that, yes. like, that Cunningham drops. Like yes. everybody wants to hear every fucking note yes. that Bon Scott hits and Bro. Brian Johnson. So we man. set the bar up high for ourselves, don't we? Yes, yes, we do, man. I'm I'm racking my brain, my my brain. The past couple of weeks, actually, I've been really, I guess you can say, stressed. Uh, I've been putting my brain through the ringer um, with the projects I'm in. Uh, whether it's Relent, I had to learn ten songs with Relent, so, uh, and that was on a time crunch. And then with Knife Party, we're always integrating new songs into the set. We kind of want to separate ourselves from the other. Deftones tribute bands around Texas, you know what I mean? And yeah. uh, not saying that they don't do that, um, but uh, as as Knife Party, we like to pride ourselves in, in kind of reaching down and into the bag and grabbing some of those deep cuts, man. So we added uh, like three new songs this past uh, this past trip to San Antonio at, uh, oh, at Bonds, which is always a party. It's always a great time there. Bonds, always man. over there at Bonds. Right, yes. right? Love it's it. It's always cool, man. And so... Uh, with that, you know, learning new songs and and then uh, kind of just breaking breaking uh, break, breaking some news right now, man. Uh, I recently got into Kerosene Shores, and uh, this is a band out of uh, out of Houston. Yeah, their uh, their drummer had moved to uh, Tennessee, from what I understand, and and uh, it was kind of it's kind of getting to that point where it was difficult to uh, kind of schedule shows with him in Tennessee and. He would have to yeah. like either drive or fly down to, to play shows. And the cool thing about um, Kerosene Shores is, uh, man, that this was my, this is Eric, uh, Eric Biadiao. Eric James was my first singer in Fuse, man. That was the guy, like the OG way back then, you know? Yeah. In um, the 90s. So uh, he hit me up. Um, the guys hit me up and they're like, hey, man, like, uh, you know, you think you can help us out? We got a couple of shows. Um, you know, we got some songs coming out. Um, they're putting some tracks coming out. And uh, and so, like, dude, I've just been racking my brain with that, learning their catalog. Wow. And so, dude, yeah, we got a show September 14th in Houston at a BFE Rock Club. Um, that place with, kicks ass, dude. I've never been there. You've Man, been there? That's, that's where I had that show with Annihilator, the Texas, the Destroyed Texas Fest. Okay. Kick-ass stage, badass drum riser um sound system lights it's a fucking badass bar dude you're gonna have a blast wow. there 
Cool, man. We're playing with some bands. Uh, I, 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 I don't know them. I'm not from the town, but I think it was like uh, Saturate and a band called Lunara, Lunara, and cool. uh, Black Market Tragedy and uh, Aviate. Um, okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah. man, if, if you get a chance to, I don't know if you've ever heard of Kerosene Shores, man. I've mentioned them to you before. Um, or I yes. think I have. But Were they from out. San Antonio? Uh, no. Uh, They've from, always been uh, up there. Yeah, from Houston. Nope. All right. And uh, yeah, Sean, the guitar player, and Brad, uh, Brandon, the bass player, man, they're real, they're real cool cats, man. Along with Eric, dude. So I'm, I'm very uh, thankful that they asked me to be a part of this project. Which uh, it's good. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty big undertaking uh, with the music, and I don't know what they were thinking when they wrote those drum parts. Because like you were saying, man, <laughs> as musicians, we try to knock those the, the parts as as close to as possible. Yeah, and uh, man, it's just been pissing me off because I've I've been having to do a lot of uh, going back and forth with these with these parts, man. It's just really racking my brain. But uh, yeah, man, Kerosene Shorts, check them out on uh, iTunes or Apple Music or you know Spotify or wherever wherever you get the music, man. Uh, we're, they're going to release a new track called Fever Dream, dude. And it's a kick ass track, man. It's really good, dude. That is awesome, man. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to share that on my, my Tony Gomez show page and yes. my own page when that comes out, man. I'm looking forward to that, man. I, I would have given That's you, exciting, uh, bro. Yeah, I wanted to give you a a snippet, uh, but this was all kind of a, uh, you know, real uh, real spur of the moment. It was, yeah. I know. So I didn't have time to, but man, uh, yeah, I'll send I'll send the track your way, dude, so you can listen to it. It's a really good track, brother. Kick ass, man. I'm excited, yeah. dude, man. The, um, Good for Eric, dude, for reaching out to you. You know, yeah, the dude, distance got... involved, and, and and you know, he he picked the right guy. You know, I know, you know, you got love for him already. You you know where he's yeah. coming from. You love the band already, so you know, yeah. wow, dude, that's fucking exciting. Thanks. So yeah. let's talk about real quick. What? Yeah. How many bands we got going on now? We got Night Party. Now we got Kerosene Shores. Am I missing anything else? How about uh... Corruptor? Re, uh, relent corruptor is relent, and, of course yeah. i forget relent yes <laughs> dude honestly thankfully uh corruptor is more of i guess like a seasonal thing you know what i okay. mean yeah um and uh just trying to help out uh sal whenever i can man it's it's so it's been really busy with uh with family and work and, and then these projects to where i kind of uh reluctant to if I was even reluctant with the kerosene shore scene, man. I was like, I don't know <laughs> if I could do this. But I mean, it, it, I I got so much history with Eric. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I, yeah. I was like, you know what? I have not jammed with this dude uh, regularly in 20 years. So in yeah. over 20 years. And the last time we played a show was, and that was just one. That was a one-off. That was in 2007. So I was wow. like, man, let me try this. Let me try this out. and. Uh, and see where this uh see how this goes you know what i mean because their their catalog hey dude they got bangers man it's it's well, more yeah. it's it's, a, it's new metal with uh a lot of uh chorus uh parts that eric likes to man he's such a great lyricist too so um but the music is is very good man so uh but yeah, yeah like uh like i say i think that's it bro i i don't know i can't do anything else as far as right now you know what i mean but, uh, <laughs> I, That's uh, yeah, a lot on your plate. The, yeah, the corruptor thing. I had laid uh, the drums down um, months back, and they're uh, adding adding mixes to those songs. Yeah. So uh, whenever Sal, I mean Sal's a mastermind mastermind behind that thing. So whenever he wants to uh, release or you know what I mean, release the tracks or do music videos. Uh, yeah. Uh, or anything like that, man. You know, uh, big shout out to Sal, man. You know what I mean. Uh, Huge I haven't seen that guy in a while, man. Yeah, I miss that guy. Man, Sal Hernandez, South Texas Media, always a a, a great partner with us doing the Tex the uh, Tony's Twisted Christmas show yeah. every year since the very beginning. Him having the Krampus booth, uh, him bringing great people. Um, um, my design guy that works with him, I can just shoot myself because he's such a fucking badass man. Oh my god, I can't think of his name right now. Uh -huh. But he is the man that put out the great fucking posters that we always had for each Christmas. And uh, I love them. I love the whole team. Thank you big time, Sal. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And he's going to be joining us. He he was at the uh, the, at the All-Star 
um, kind of pre-production thing we had going on about three weeks ago. Uh, now, I guess it's only two weeks, but we had the guys from, from the Young Classics show up, a few of them. Uh, Oscar was out there. Uh, of course, uh, um, did Mike make it? No, Mike had COVID for a little bit. So, oh, yes. Uh, shout okay, out to yeah. Mike. I'm, I hope he's feeling better now. I know he's, he's he, it, last time I talked to him was last week. So he was already on the tail end of it. So God okay. willing, he's, he's doing a lot better. Yeah. But, hey, yeah, I'm glad he's doing, I'm glad he's doing better. And uh, I'm going to miss those guys this year. I'm still going to try to make it out. You know what I mean? But uh, we're going to miss you so much. I know, man. man. It was like, I was already, I took on a couple of projects and I said, man, Around that time, like I told you, man, around that time, I just wanted to focus more on the family and try to just uh, do things. Yeah, uh, man, I get it. Uh, uh, with them and spend as much time with them during the during the Christmas holiday, man. So, but, uh, dude, uh, for the past two years and hopefully in the future again, man, it's it's been a fun, fun ride uh, with uh, Tony's, you know, Christmas Spectacular and everybody that's involved, man. Everybody that's involved top-notch, great musicians, great people. I learned uh, a lot from jamming with um, the group that I was jamming with and, right. and met a lot of new friends, man. I, I always say it. I can't say it enough, man. Everybody in that in the, that group is awesome, man. So it's, you know, when I, when, when I, when, when I, when, when I chose the name all stars, I meant it sincerely from, from all different angles, man, from, from the musicianship to the attitude, to the generosity, the heart, you know, uh, you guys are all handpicked. Because I know that you'd be perfect for what we're doing. And so it just feels great to be in that community, you know, when the, when the show yeah. finally comes together. And, and, you know, we only see each other maybe at that, that uh, night before the show or at that last rehearsal. That's when we kind of cross paths with everybody yeah. other than the actual show. Yeah. And what I thought was special about last year with the Young Classics finishing the night off, it gave us guys a chance to step back, enjoy the show for a little bit. And, you know get to step back before the show's all over. And then it's like, oh man, there goes the, the moment for a little bit. We're able to enjoy it for ourselves instead of always having to be a part of the production and doing vocals and this and that. Yeah. And uh, man, just a great project. I'm looking forward to this year. You don't have That's to be awesome. in it, but come visit us, man. You got to yeah, come bring the family out. You know, we're Being still family. keeping it family friendly. Uh, yes. Even though I'm doing um, a metal uh, theme group, I'm throwing in some King Diamond this year. Dude. Oh, okay. No presents for Christmas. I got to have that Mickey D. Yes, dude, what a killer drummer, man. Ooh, nice. Love it. And that's about as heavy as it's going to get. As much as, much as I kind of wanted to go, you know, a little bit harder, man, I got to keep it friendly for the kids. I want I, I want to keep it where nobody's like, oh, oh my God, we got to go. This is too much. I always want to keep it friendly, keep it interesting. And we'll see if me, Hector, or Joe can hit those kind of King Diamond notes. We'll yeah. see who's the best at it. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude. And so <laughs> it, it, up, it, man. it's going to be a fun time, man. So please bring the family, you know. That's cool, man. And uh, just, yeah, an added uh, incentive, man, is when you added the Young Classics, man. Talk about a great group, wow. man. It's Jalissa and Mario and the rest of those those guys in that group, man. Those the, that, band, that, that band is on fire, man. So. God bless that band and best of luck to them and the continuing months and years and however long they do it, man. There's awesome. Big time. Big time love to all the young classics. No, no more is not with them anymore. They got a new guitar player. And I think he also plays with <clears throat> with Lewis, uh, who also plays in 18 Hours. That's a badass uh, that's band that's been making a lot of moves here lately. Yeah. Really happy for those guys. I want to see about getting them on the show, too. And cool. uh but also Jacob on guitar and, and of course Mario with the backup vocals and, yeah. and, and bass. That is such a folks. sweetheart, man. And she's yeah, awesome man, they just too. so awesome. Happy birthday, Jalissa! I didn't even get to tell her happy birthday, man. But uh, oh, I, I know, right? Late. Yeah, I saw. Her I wanted to go. I think she was. They had a show last weekend. I think it was right. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. They played a you lot. You were playing last weekend, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. We played San Antonio. Uh, like I said, Bonds, man. Um, it was kind of it, bummer because I I get up there. Um, I had to work that day, so right after work, man, I go and uh, I'm in San Antonio. And my truck starts making this weird noise, bro. It starts. Oh, no. yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh -oh. So uh, as uh, as we speak, it's at it's at the dealership, and it's gonna get looked at, and hopefully, Damn. it's nothing major, bro. But uh, hopefully that, uh, that warranty yeah. <laughs> hopefully oh. that warranty takes care of whatever it is. Cause, right. Uh, you know, 
Yeah, but anyway, it was a fun time, man. It was a fun time. We got some shows coming up next month in San Antonio again um, in September at a, at a, what is it called? Uh, it's the name's escaping. Fuel Bar. Fuel Bar, San Antonio. It's a really cool bar. Have yeah, you ever yes. played there? Not yet. It's a cool bar, man. Check it out. Uh, and then we All played right. the Valley. We're playing a theater in the in the Valley. Uh, uh, the name's escaping me, but that one's going to be cool too, man. Uh, there's so, a badass theater in the valley have y'all uh, played there before already we played at scene scene ray this is a different one. Oh, um, that's the one i was thinking of scene ray yeah that was a yeah. big show over there right it was, was like sad. Sick, it was. sick bands yeah the minutes of midnight um the lincoln park and then uh the 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 limb biscuit and then to close Slim it out see, yeah bro they tore it up it was oh good. shit you good, gotta man. go. You gotta be fucking sick if you're gonna do that Slipknot, man. Come that on, gig, don't, right? You gotta yeah. go fucking thousand percent, man. Because that's what we expect. That's how the band is. So yeah. you want to step in those shoes? Go yes. for it if you're up yeah. to it. So yeah, a big props bro. to them. I missed that one. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So like I said, we got two shows uh, in uh, September, and uh, and then uh, well, dude, check it out. September 14th is Kerosene Shores, Houston. September twenty yes. first is night party in San Antonio. The twenty eighth is night party in the Valley, and then October fifth is Relent at House of Rock with opening up for Head PE. You know oh, I mean? that's gonna be a and, uh, right there with Head dude, PE. Oh man, fuck yeah, that's a fucking great yeah. billing for y'all. Yeah, Anthony Stevenson with Come and Take It Productions, man. He was gracious enough to uh, get us on that bill. I think we might be direct support too, so that should be really fun. Ooh, so, fuck uh, yes. Yeah, man. It's, it just seems like uh, every weekend something, you know. And um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it, but uh, it does get a little bit tired, <laughs> exhausted a little bit. And that's just weekends, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's when you factor in work and you factor in all your duties as. Yeah. As, you know. As a person, man, a father and a husband. Oh, yes. And I do, to honestly, I couldn't do this if it wasn't for my amazing wife, man. So, Mickey, yes. I love her. And she's always so supportive of me and always trying to do everything she can to to uh, to allow me to, to be able to do this, man. So, love her, man. She makes it happen, man. You got to have that back. You got to have that support because it, it, it's a lot to juggle um, taking care of the ones you love. And yeah trying to get yes. you know taking care of you, our hobbies and our you know what the little things we want too out of out of all yeah. this yeah Let, and let's just be real man it gets exhausting for them you know they may not yeah. show it and we know it in our hearts they're like yes baby do what you got to do and so uh we just try to reciprocate that same energy and that same love and effort into you know into their lives and yes uh, man baby i love you thank you for <laughs> thank you for putting up with my with my shit. You know I mean? I'm telling you, right? Yeah, she man. puts up with a lot, man. I know it's yes. not easy being a wife of guys like us that that oh. have so many things going on every weekend. Yeah, you know, God I'm, bless them, man. I'm telling yes. you, Lori. Lori's telling me she goes, "You gotta stop playing every weekend. I can't go to shows every every week. I got work to do too." Yeah, you know, it's been yeah. a real blessing, man. And I know exactly where you're coming from, and and God bless her. I'm, I'm glad she's there for you, man. Lori Hell yes, too, man. Uh, yeah, man. Strong wives, man, and. We're, we're, Appreciate y'all. Yes. Let me get let me get to asking you a few questions, man. I'm glad you, you already took care of my question about Relent. I wanted to know when the next Relent show was. Okay. That's October 5th. Fuck yeah. Yes. That's gonna be going off head PE, House of Rock. So any word on the Periwinkle Massacre? Oh man, dude, that is just like <laughs> I, uh, I don't even know what to say. I think it's just like, I mean, our love for the wink is I would say beyond measure. We, I mean, in our hearts, uh, it's a never, it's a never say, like it's a never say die attitude that we have. Yeah. I think it just, it's, it's one of those seasonal type things. I, I know oh, that right. uh, Joe, yeah, Joe, our guitar player, is, is uh, in the process of, of uh, writing and um, mixing and mastering and finishing his EP with uh with his buddy oh, uh i believe his name is joaquin uh and he used to be uh the singer for for x creep back in the day and dude that dude is a mighty singer man that dude can oh, belt shit. it out and joe is uh man joe's on fire with his musical uh production right now dude and so wow. that he's he's real he's really busy with that and then matt um 
Matt's just Matt, dude. Matt's all over the place. You know, I, I feel like this is yeah. just a season where he's not even like music's not right, like a thing for him. I know it's in his heart, it'll always be in his heart, but it's just not like, hey man, I gotta pick up the guitar. I gotta, I gotta start jamming and doing this. And uh, yes. it'll come back, you know what I mean? I think sure. for for me, Hector and uh and my, I mean, Mondo's doing shy one things, you know, he's starting to yeah, pick up, which, sure. is, which is always good to see. And, and Halloween's coming up. So I know he's going to start working on his, on his Halloween, uh, uh, haunted, uh, haunt house or whatever you want to call it, which Kick he does an ass. amazing job. Have you ever been to one of his? No, I so haven't. dude, he converts his garage into a freaking haunted house, bro. And it is <laughs> top notch. Yeah. It's cool, man. He I have might to do make it this year. Yeah, he might do it. But uh, speaking, like I was talking about, like, uh, love you, Mondo. But like I was saying for uh, me, Mondo, Hector, and and now Mike. Mike's getting back into the music with Witch Tripper. Yeah, Witch Tripper. Shout out to Hector yeah. and Witch Tripper. They played their first show. Um, and they got a they got a freaking uh, amazing group of guys with uh, with uh, Andrew. You know, Andrew Gonzalez on drums. Amazing drummer. Oh, He's shit. uh He's okay. uh, the sound and lights guy. He does uh, the uh, the Thursday night summer fest that go on at Cold Park. Uh, Great. He's All got right. his own uh, sound uh, company and business he's doing. And then they got uh, Eric on guitar. They got uh, Hector's playing guitar. Yes. And, uh, and Mike on bass. And they got Maestro uh, on, uh, and, uh, on Volks, uh, which... Uh, and uh, what's his name? His real name. But everybody calls him Maestro. Maestro. Yeah, but uh, okay. Ah, somebody, somebody, uh, chime in and and let us know. Mike yeah, let us know why. <laughs> but uh, Maestro's dude, real name. He, he is nail nailing uh the Phil part, man. So that band Wood Stripper, I believe they played their their first show at uh House of Rock not too long ago, and then they're playing with Black Tooth Green, man. Um, yeah, I saw that. I think it's yeah. September, man. So yeah, keep a lookout. Keep a lookout, man. That's cool. That's gonna be a good one. Yes, I think it's um September twentieth at Riches. Yes. Oh, Black Tooth. okay. Yeah. Riches. Yeah, it's gonna be that's a good one, up. man. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, man. How's the how's the annihilator thing going? I you know, just the, put out the first single. Uh, yeah, I've seen man. y'all been getting some good uh, some good reviews and some good feedback, which is well. Awesome. I'm, that's what I asked Alex. Alex was like, "Man, uh, have you, have you, what's the feedback?" So, well, people like that heard you. They say they like it, but the, it's all what I've seen on Facebook. Other yeah. than that, I really haven't seen any reviews. I, I figured maybe an actual review might come out when the whole EP comes out or the whole yeah. album. You know, so, um, but it's so far so good. Nobody's fucking give us a thumbs down or said y'all suck. So I guess yeah. we're, we're doing all right. You That's know, I, I'm real good. proud of it, dude. It's 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 something new new for me as far as um getting back into the annihilator uh groove with alex and meeting jd who who was just alex and jd put all this music together and um just thankful that they were gave me the opportunity to, to uh yeah. put my touch to it and yeah. they knew where i was coming from i played with them before about four or five years ago so uh, you know i knew i already knew the annihilator songs from back in the day and so it was an easy fit and uh i just got to give a big shout out to, to jd for being a, a great you know, a, a friend, a producer, and writer, and, and just um, being a great collaborator. Because it's not easy for me as a as a as a lyricist to bend or give or change anything in my lyrics. But I was I felt compelled to do that with this project because uh, him and Alex had wrote so much of the riffage that I knew they had some music, the lyrics kind of in mind and how okay. it was going to go. And yeah. we didn't have a chance to talk that out previously until we were face to face with each other. But it was just such cool vibes. And um, I brought to, in his opinion, he goes, man, I, I have never been so prepared than you were when you brought so many fucking lyrics. I was like, we don't need all this. We can do without that. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep that. And yeah. I was ready to be. I'm glad I was over prepared. You know, that's good. That's good. It's good to come that way, man. It's yeah, crazy. man. So it's been a great experience. We did that Destroy Texas Fest at the BFE Club up in Houston. Great fucking bar. Great people over there. It was packed. We played with, we got a great response. Got some good video footage. Thanks to Bobby from Votan. He he made made the trip up there. So okay. his Lords of War production channel took uh, maybe about two or three videos of us playing. Came out nice. great. 
And then we did this uh, fest over here at the Paper Tiger a couple of weeks ago. Dang. Um, it went great, dude. And we played with this member from overseas. This is the okay. first time to be here in over 20 years. The place was fucking packed. We went on, you know how it is over there at a paper tiger whenever they're having, you know, eight, nine bands, you know, it's going to go from stage to stage. So nothing ever stops. So we were, we went on right before this member. So man, the place was packed already, but we were right there at the side stage, but the garage door was open and man, we had a great fucking turnout and, um, we kept them until this member started playing and then we, of course it was just pretty instantaneous we knew yeah. we were finishing we knew they were coming on so we pushed it right to the fucking limit and nice. uh good time good time and hopefully nice. we do something maybe one more time before the before the year's over up in houston okay. or uh we're keeping our fingers crossed that it's going to be a, a productive uh 2025. so uh, you know with the album coming out you know i think that'll you know make some moves for us so uh, I appreciate you asking, man. I love the guys yeah. from Annihilator. And I'm glad to be a part of it. And, and finally to have something out there, you know, yes. uh, worldwide, it, it feels fucking fantastic, man. That's so awesome, man. When, when I got to work with you guys on the video, on the photo shoot, man, it was really cool to meet you guys and really cool how freaking laid back and cool everybody was, you know what I mean? So Yeah, man. Uh, it, man was it, a, it was a great experience, man, the photo shoot. And guys, you know, you just have to hit up John. Look him up, Eternal Photography. Uh, DM Thank him on, on John Luna. I'm telling you, if you got a band, need some band photos, you need to hit him up. We did in our band uh, in Annihilator. Man, the photos came out fantastic. Um, take it from me. Take it from the other guys in, in, in Ill Adjusted, in uh, the Southern yeah, Revival. The yeah. list goes on, man. The, the work speaks for itself. Hit him up. You'll have a great time. Super guy to work with and uh, open for any ideas, whatever yeah. you want. Let's do I it. Love, I love to do it, man. And dude, uh, you know what? Uh, I gotta admit, I've I can freaking slack too. I can be a slacker, and I know you asked me about some of the the photos and uh, some of some of them in particular. And I still gotta get you those. I still okay, gotta cool. Get you those. I know you you're busy. Don't think I haven't forgot. I'm sorry, Tony. It's but, all right, uh, man. <laughs> Thank you for I, remembering. I, I was like, yeah, hey, bro. all right. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm so weird. Yeah, I think uh, I, I just if you guys could just freaking peek inside my head i just it's a whirlwind of thoughts and ideas yeah and just insecurities oh, yes. and just regrets and then just uh you know uh thoughts of hope and positivity and what can be all mixed in one it's just crazy man. you know it's, it's for real you're right it's man nuts, because you know dude. we got we got a lot of stress on our on our mind yes, and bro. i really don't think about it too much until i'm in the moment i'm like man I'm yeah. not used to this. I'm, I'm so yeah. used to being on the flip side where it's all on the up and up. And I just got to get my mind and, and just kind of just, you know, it's been happening a lot more lately where it's, um, um, I need to step back and just take 10, 30 minutes of just mace, just kind of just quietness, Quiet. some meditation. Bro, I got to do know? the same thing, bro. Yeah. The past, the past week in particular, I felt like I uh, just saw uh, maybe a, uh, the breakdown about to come on dude i just feel oh, so shit. freaking overwhelmed you know what i mean yeah. not not like not malicious thoughts no well, thoughts I, of hurting I myself do. just like to where you're just like man am i gonna break right now you know just like and and by break i mean just either break down and just start to cry or just break down and and god forbid have an anxiety attack you know which i yeah, I don't wish on, upon anybody. You know what I mean. I've dealt with so many of those things, you know, and and uh, it's I'm I'm so happy that uh I'm in a time of my life where I don't deal with those things at this moment. You know what I mean. And I'm Blessings. hoping that uh I don't ever have to deal with those things because those things are scary as fuck. You know what I mean. Yes, those are bad. <laughs> those things are really bad. So um I've been holding it together, man. Just. You know, trying to stay Fuck positive. Yeah. I think going to the gym. I saw you going in one day, and yes, that made me happy. That's right. But it feels good. Helps that's with a, your mental. That's your health. me time right there, man. You got to get it your me time helps. in. Yeah, it helps so bad with your mental state of mind, and it helps you. It makes you feel good, and and uh, yeah, man. I recommend it to anybody, man. It just doesn't matter if you've never done it before. Get up and go. Try it. Yes. Take a chance. Take a chance on yourself. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, Let me ask you, when I'm over there at the gym, my thing is cardio and I do 30 minutes straight cardio and I got to have my music. If I don't have my, my headset, I'm going to fucking go buy a pair before yeah. I get there. I yeah. got to have music. And it's yeah. just one of those things. But I play air drums, dude. 
I play oh, air drums man, like I'm fucking awesome. like like I'm fucking John Bonham and shit. Do you play air drums? That's cool. I don't do that. And Tony, I'm the totally, I'm the total opposite. Um, since I work for the postal service, I feel like okay, I kind of just get my cardio already as it is, right? Okay, um, yeah. I do I more. Uh, I do more push pull, man. Weightlifting is, is, is and trying to push myself to the limit. But uh, I gave up on music. I don't listen to music. I listen to these, dude. They're my favorite things, dude. Uh, I, I listen to the, this uh, one guy in particular. I think his name is Artus, A-R-D-U-S. He makes those inspirational videos. So what he'll do is just yeah. make a collage of like 45 minutes, a collage of just, um, the, just the inspirational speakers. Yeah. And he'll, he'll just cut the piece and then put another piece after that. And then boom, yeah. so it's just a whole bunch of telling you, get off your ass and do it because nothing's going to change unless you do. But yeah. it, has, it, it has this epic music behind it. You know what I mean? Whoa, it has okay. this epic music. So when I'm pushing, I'm just I'm listening to that, and uh, it's just been so effective for me. You know what I mean? I kind of just uh, that's taking it to another as, level. Yeah, yeah. As far as and as far as like listening to music, um, kind of do this part time of my life where I'm just kind of taking a step back from listening to music. I, I get right. I get discouraged because there's so many bands, so many, and especially <laughs> yes. new bands that are coming out. That they, yeah. I get so discouraged. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know. That's just me. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh god, I gotta listen to five more bands I've never heard. You know? So it's it's good. It's good for me just to take a step back, listen to this motivational shit that's telling me, you know, everything yeah. I need to hear because honestly, it really does help me. So uh, every morning, and I know people because I I've heard it. I got people that tell me straight up like. Why do you post what you post? Like, why are you posting that you're at the gym at 445 in the morning? Why are you posting that you're doing this? And I'm like, well, number one, because there is somebody out there who does need that motivation. That's there right. Somebody out there who has been thinking about going to the gym. And maybe if they see me fucking do it every day, they just get they're going to get so annoyed that, you know what, this motherfucker is going like, let me try it out. You know what Let I mean? Let me try it out. Right. Let me try it out. You know? And uh, it's like, it's not to show off. It's not to show off. Dude, if I want to show off, I'll just go on stage. You know what I mean? And that's just me being, <laughs> right. that's just right. me being completely honest. But you know what? It's it's amazing that like, we have the confidence to say that because we put our time on the instrument. We put our time on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. We put our time in front of the crowds. We busted our asses. You know what I mean? This is... Uh, not to veer, well, just to veer off real quick. I've been thinking about this lately. Is I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start referring to to myself as a professional drummer. You know what I mean? I might yeah. not have the education. I might not have the accolades, but I've been doing this thing for 25 plus years. That I am. A, I am a professional man. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. And, no, and nobody can take that away from me. You know what I mean? So if I wanted to be that person, if I wanted to just, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm narcissistic. I'm big headed. I want to just, uh, you know, post everything I do then I would, but you know, with the gym in particular, there's a lot of people out there that need help, you know, especially with their health, especially with their mental health. And if I can yeah. be that person, if I can be that motivating factor to get them to get up and go and do it, then I, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? So yes, that's, that's I all I got to say about that, man, because there are people out there that are just kind of like, why does John do that? Or why does John do this? Or why is John blah blah? Dude, I, I let me veer off a little bit. That's another thing, man. My whole life, I've always been stigmatized. I've always, by the way, I look. Oh, does that dude do drugs? Oh, that guy has long hair. Oh, he must do this. Blah blah. This and that. You know what I mean? And it just, dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a person who keeps a lot of stuff inside, but it gets tiring just knowing yeah, that these people out there are talking about you like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what? I'm I'm somewhat of an introvert. You know what I mean? So I I do if I don't know you. I'm not really going to talk. I'm not really going to talk to you. But it always gets misconstrued as, oh, that dude's an ass. You know, oh, that dude's <laughs> stuck up. Oh, he doesn't say nothing. Well, don't say nothing because I don't know you. Number yeah. two, I'm probably focused because I'm about to go on that stage and destroy. You know what I mean? But if I do yeah. know you, like someone like you, oh, we're hanging out. We're doing this. We're talking. We're laughing. And it's just, it, dude, it, my, I feel like my whole life has just been a big old misunderstanding. And, oh uh, shit! <laughs> you know, and I'm sorry for going on that tangent, dude. I just, I miss, I miss being on this show. I miss talking to you, and I just wanted to 
like I told you in the message the other day, man, I got a lot to talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Well, that's what I love, man, because I do want us both to be able to get and have this kind of form where we can get it off our chest uh, because it's healthy for us. Um, us as being fathers, as being musicians, being professionals at what we do. Um, this is uh, something that that is very healthy for us. I think it's therapeutic. And I yeah. think it provides uh, a motivating factor for our friends as well as other people that that would like to be able to to play in multiple bands or maybe just uh, pick up photography or get off their ass and start going to the gym. You know, yeah. we know a lot of people. We've met a lot of people. We've 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 shared a stage with a lot of great musicians, and we've we've got a ton of Facebook friends and all that good stuff. So if there's any way we can be a part of the positivity that exists in the world. By God, let's be a part of the positivity. Let's be a part of the solution and not be a part of any kind of problem. And I love seeing that. I love seeing the hustle. I like getting getting up early, man. When I think of my when I when I see the post, I'm like, he's the guy that's getting up at five in the morning. Yeah. He's the guy that's beating me to success. He's the one that's already got something going on while everybody else is sleeping. And that's what I see it as like, hey, that's the way, that's how you make things happen. That's yeah. how you live for today. You make it's, the most of your life. Hey, and um, you, you keep doing it, brother. And you keep showing me. I want to keep seeing you out there, man, because it makes me want to keep exercising every day. I'm not the morning person I could have been, but I get out there after work. You know what there I mean? You so, there you go. There you go. As long as you get it, brother. As long as you <laughs> get it, man. Now, let me tell you, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not a morning person. The way this all started was uh, a coworker of mine who happens to be an ex-Marine. He's already retired, but he he goes to the gym and and so we're at work one day and he's like, hey man, come on, just go to the gym with me. And I'm like, dude, you know what? It's been years. I used to love going to the gym. Let me let me go with you. What time yeah. are we going tomorrow? What time are we going tomorrow? He's at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> I was like, you got to be serious, me, right? Yeah, I was like, you got to <laughs> be kidding me, dude. It's, there's no way I'm gonna be dead at work, dude. There's no way he's like, dude, go trust me. And so like. Yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, dude, it, it, it sets a tone for your day. It sets it gives the tone. you the energy. It gives you the energy you need. You think you're not gonna have energy. It actually gives you the energy. You know what it I mean? It gets so, you there. Yeah. yeah and yeah. uh it's like everything you said, man, that dude is up before everybody else. So you know that's right inspiration, man. So but dude, yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what time you go, man. Do it when get it when you can get it. So that's I'm right. You, everybody out there, get it when you can get it. And it's yeah. not doesn't have to be all or nothing. Take your hour, take your 30 minutes, take yeah. 20 minutes if that's all you can get. But bring up that blood pressure, burn yeah. off a few calories. Know that you're fucking trying every day to 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 better yourself and and to take care of yourself. We want exactly. to we, it's a long, it's a long haul, it's a long journey. And man, I'm 50 years into it. And I want to, man, I could only if I if there's if there's something I could buy. To keep me alive for another 50 years, man, I would buy that motherfucker. I'd, I'd be making payments on it every paycheck, you yes. know, but it don't work like that. No. You know, you got to take care of yourself. And this is what I got. So I better, I better take care of it. You look and, good, uh, man. You look keep good. working it, brother. I love the inspiration. I got to give a shout out. We got, we got our man, uh, Rob, uh, Rob, uh, God bless, man. He's shouting out. You motivate me, both of y'all, man. You know, Rob wow. Cantu's was in there Thank for the original Tony Twisted Christmas Spectacular before he moved. And uh, I love Robert, man. He brings wow. so much uh, personality and flair to everything he's in. And now Rob is playing drums for fucking Womb Rot, my boys of Womb Rot. And uh, I can't, they're, they're one of my favorite bands locally. And I got some favorite bands, of course. And uh, I don't want to leave anybody out. So I don't want to start naming it. <laughs> right, right, but, right. That's such a great opportunity for Rob and I. I think those guys are are, are gonna they're gonna really mesh together, and I only want the best for them, man. So, love you, Robert. Hell yeah! So, Thanks for tuning in, man. Yes, Rob, man, that's like a, a a ball of light and positive. Big time, man. dude! So, I know. And he's about to be a father, man. Best wishes to him and his wife, man, and uh, and their newborn, uh, their new addition. That's a, a I know. Dude, congratulations, man! man. Congratulations! Love. All the best. We love y'all. Yes. Dude. Let me ask you this. What do you do before a gig to get yourself warmed up? Do you got a routine? Uh, honestly, Tony, I really don't. Uh, up until I, I I started to work out, which was eight months ago, I didn't do anything. I would have yeah. a couple of uh, 
I'd have a couple of cold ones just to, to take the edge off. But now uh, I like to get the blood flowing, like you were saying, get the blood pressure, you know, up and uh, and do some do some uh, some push ups, some body I squats. You were say that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just uh-huh. get, get pumped, get motivated to get in the zone. Uh, I, I said it. I said it in a previous podcast. Um, I'm so darn competitive, man. It doesn't matter if if I'm in Periwinkle and we're playing with Relent, my brother Mickey and Relent, I want to take him down. You know what I mean? I hear and you, it's, man. Yes. And it's a fun takedown. It's just like I want to raise the bar. You know That's what I mean? What I, do. Want, yes. I want you to go out there and be inspired now and be like, damn, they just they just kick some ass. We gotta yeah. So that's that's all like that's my mentality, bro. That's my mentality because I mean there I don't I don't find it fun any other way, man. Any like, other way. I, that's just for me. People love to just go up there to have a good time, play their play their instrument. Sure. And and yeah. get away from life. That's our get away from life. You know what I mean? Mine is yeah. Go and destroy the stage. Yes. Leave it all out there. You know what I mean? And at this age, um, it is harder for me to move the body like I once did. You know what I mean? We're uh-huh. getting, <laughs> we getting older and yeah. things kind of ache a little more and just feel more stiff. But uh, thank God I can still do it at a level that I do. And and like I said, man, that, that's basically just trying to get pumped up before a show. And, uh, and, and, and this time of my life, the music has been... Um, more uh it's it's more it's newer so i'm just trying yeah. to stay off focused on the parts and 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 i'm trying to hit every single drum part you know that, yes. I, that i hear and so like just staying focused like that executing and uh in the process making my bandmates happy that i did a good show you know what i mean that's oh, what dude. I mean. That, exactly that's, and me that's that's it me as as a person in the crowd you know watching you as a fan when you the way you're throwing down with relent really brings so much flair man and so when you say i can't move the way i used to move man you're moving more than i than i uh, more awesome, than man. you used to move it seems like man because you're up there you're fucking motivating the crowd come on motherfuckers let's go let me hear yeah. you and then yeah. you're just fucking it looks great to see you jam man because Thanks, you, man. you play with such flair and uh you know personality and, and you know it's just uh you got it, brother. It looks great. Yeah. It sounds great. And everything, it's just the, the package is, is, is awesome. So I love seeing you with Relan. I love seeing you with Periwinkle. The, the, the show that you all did with uh, with the Shattered Sun, man, that was a fucking fantastic night. You know, with, with a whole bunch of us, man. Modern Day Renegade, everybody tilled. Um, uh, you, you know, Relan. Zombie it, King. But especially, huh? Zombie King. Yeah, Zombie King. Zombie King. Yeah, yeah Zombie King. Yeah, but yeah. the way you guys took the stage that night was one of those kind of um, a night you know, y'all will never forget, dude. The costumes, yeah. the 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 face that that that, that Hector was wearing, the, the, the flower. Yeah, the, the fairy winkle. Yeah, the fairy. That was fucking. Yeah. That was a shit, bro. It was yeah. bad. The energy. All you guys fucking came in for the kill, Matt, um, uh, Joe. Uh, oh, everybody, dude. dude, it was amazing. That's... Mike and, and 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 Mondo was like, wow, yeah, super super cool. That's why we all want to see it, man, because we love the the moment that you guys hit the stage together. Yeah, it's special. Yeah. And it, it's so, I liked what you said. It's like you know what? It's it, it's seasonal, and you know we're all around yeah. here. So when it's good, it's good, and and be yeah. ready. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Know. It's and you never know, man. And like in our hearts, man, that 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 is. Our favorite, you know, yeah. Winkle, man. I think that's everybody's favorite. A lot of people, at least, man. Yeah, Winkle. man. So I, I I want the guys, and this is just me telling the rest of the guys in Periwinkle if they're listening, you know, like, hey, man, like, I just want you to know, like, I hope that you love doing it as much as I love doing it because I love Ooh. hanging out with each and with every one of them. You know what I mean? When yeah. it comes to rehearsals, we're the biggest goofballs. We're talking <laughs> so much shit. Have a yes. good time, and it's kind of just weird. It's like it's like yeah. the Power Rangers or something. You know what I mean? That's how <laughs> I like to look at it. We're like, oh shit, we're all in the room together. This is weird. You know this what I mean? Weird, so, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, and then we get up on stage and we have a good time and and rip it. You know, y'all it. y'all put that band together and rock fucking Corpus Christi crowds in such a manner that was unforgettable at a time in our lives where. If we were, you know, um, 
we're so young and impressionable and just we, we, you think they're hungry now we were really fucking hungry then 20 yeah. years back you know 15 years back holy shit yes. so it, it's um definitely one of corpus christi's finest bands and uh you, when y'all come out i can't wait to see you guys again look mike rod tune in there hey, you go what's up? yes what's, what's up, up mike hell yeah what's we were just up? talking about witch tripper earlier Yes, so sir. We're proud of you guys, man. We uh, we got the show coming up September twentieth. So uh, you guys in Black Tooth Grin, looking yeah, forward to that. It's, it's uh, good I, to see Mike right up there, man. Yes, man. Mike brings so much energy, bro. He does, he's a he fucking. Does. He's like a dynamite going off, man. <sighs> Love it, dude. <laughs> Big time skill. Love to watch yes. him go off. Let me get to it. Let me. I got a few more things real quick. Yeah, What's sure. what kind of kit are you using? Tell me about your gear. Uh, I'm using the Tama, uh, uh, the hyper, uh, the hyperdrive uh, kit, um, which is because uh, this is my favorite thing about the set. Uh, set. Let me get this bad boy out. Uh, so it is a the shallow toms, the shallower toms. It is a matte black, matte finish. It's yes. Got the pinstripe. So it is the uh, Thomas Superstar Hyperdrive. And so what's the uniqueness uh, about this kit, like I was saying, is the depth of the Toms. Real fast, yes. real, uh, real. Um, how do you say it? Uh, real sensitive, real fast, real responsive. Yeah, uh, tone got it. And, and edge to the, to the kit. And so I'm playing on that and my, my uh, cymbals. Uh, I'm taking the approach of just get it when I can, and it's just a mix of mix of brands. You got Zildjian, you got Mino, you got uh, okay, yeah, you got Sabian, you got it's 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 all kinds, man. Uh, what's this right. one uh, that uh, Miggy gifted me? Uh, God bless him, man. He he gifted me the uh, Trinity symbol. The it's like a it's got the holes. It's one of those holy symbols crashes. Yeah, it's a great great uh. Ooh, great symbol symbol yeah. great symbol company just using that one symbol i can tell man and i know uh fellow drummer dustin ramirez who plays with like timeline and some of the other uh yeah, timeline. great cover acts he's a, he's a, he's uh he's actually a trinity uh endorser very um, cool yeah uh so man and uh robbie rodriguez i think that's his name he's the owner for trinity man it's just a great symbol company so like i said i mean and then stands uh it's a mixture dw i got the uh i got the speed cobras the thomas speed cobras that i've had for yes. a while and they've done me good you know what i mean so, yeah. drums is love hate relationship with me tony there's could be a week where i just hate the the the, the, the kit <laughs> i hate the instrument i don't know why i'm doing it what am i even doing why did i waste all these years you know and then uh, and then there's yeah. the, the next day you're just like dude i freaking love this thing you know what i mean yeah. i freaking love it it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 a big part of who I am. It's my identity. And I try, I've tried to run away from it in my twenties. I think I was like 25, 26. I tried to run away and it just, it's like, there, yeah, well, it's, it's not going to happen. It's going to, I think if, if it's truly connected with you, then it's going to find a way back into your life. Hallelujah. Whoever you are. So, um, I, it's weird. I got, I got, I got friends. I even got close family who I feel like, to this day they think it's it's just it's a hobby and it's not a hobby you know? i know it's not I, that's right I, I don't, i've told them countless times man um if god allows me to live that age i'll be doing it into my 70s yeah and if i could do it if i'm in 80s i'm gonna do it in my 80s you know what i mean but it's, yes. it's just something that i love to do this isn't a game you know what i mean it's <laughs> right it's part of my life man yes drums papa you know what i mean so yes it uh, feels so good feels great man it yeah it so feels good. great here's my uh my e-kit right here man this is where all I the e -kit. To get all my yeah i get all my chops down and that's where i'm uh currently uh practicing for the uh, kerosene stuff you know nice so, yeah Buff, man but yeah. like like i said man uh drums part of my life is uh, at this point i don't think there's any escaping it and i I'm get happy. it you know well I, mean? I wanted to find out about your gear man because you know what everyone around here that i know when it comes to if your name comes up 
it's all about fucking oh, one of the best in town. And I'd say, oh, absolutely, yeah. man. He's now he's one of mine. He's in the all stars. You Thank know what you, I mean? Yeah. I get to jam with him now too. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yes. And, uh, yes. It, it feels great. And that's why I want to ask, you know, what, what's your routine? If you have any secrets before you hit the stage, do you stretch out with your drumsticks? Do you, you know, you, you're doing the push ups. I, you know? I just do the push ups. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, Thank, thankfully, like my dexterity, my hands, I don't put a lot of strain uh, in in everyday life with them. And I and I know it's always focused because I am a drummer, and it's because I can hold the sticks a certain way. You know yes. what I mean? And I've yeah. learned to to hold the sticks a certain way, whether it be uh, a natural, it's natural to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's something that's kept me in the in the drum game is that they're. There's no wrong way to do it, man. It's however you feel. You know what I mean? It's it's how you ride the bike. It's not how right. Jose rides the bike. You know what I mean? It's how yes. you ride the bike. And it's the same thing with drums. Um, so I just, yeah, I'll do a little bit of exercise. There you go. Do a little rudiments. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll do that um, for a couple of minutes before. And uh, just focus, get in it. And my bandmates say it's so funny because I know they're like, Damn, Lynn is in the zone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is in the uh -huh. zone. And I am. Uh, that's just how I get, man. It's it's kind of it's just funny. It's the over the top thing. You know what I mean? You just put put the hat to the back and yes. let's go out, man. Let's go out because second sucks, baby. You know that. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, yeah. while we're on the topic of, of getting ready to warm up and hitting the kid and being a natural. Um, you've been able to share the stage around fucking around the nation with some other badass naturals like Dave and oh, Miggy man. on drums right there and percussion. So uh, does Dave do some warm up? Does he do a little something or is, or is he like just ready to go like you are? Dave is just ready to go, man. He's all business, man. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's all business. And uh, to the very last minute, dude, that dude, uh, he's either singing some kind of uh, he's got he's got a a cool kind of uh vibrato in his voice so he's either just really what chill, does he sing what does he like he doesn't he does the uh he he does the um the latin thing bro you know i i don't know what he hey bro I, that guy's going hard so i don't really know what he's saying because it's it's a oh, latin okay, all right. or spanish or whatever you know and so yeah. but uh no he's just real he's uh he's just business man he's real laid back real business uh of course you know He's kind of like the general, so yeah, uh, yeah. He's just kind of like making sure, hey, everybody's on point, everybody's got their thing. At least uh, when I was on tour, you know what I mean, and yeah. everybody come correct because uh, you know we're gonna crush it. You know we're gonna I mean? crush so, it. That's yeah. right. Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, once, maybe, once the uh, once, back there, uh, I know he's dro dropping the bat some killer, some of the best fucking backup vocals um, that anybody could ever have. But what about him playing the drums? Does, does he do any warm up? No, he, he's like pretty much all day. He's doing you. You he'll be on the bus and you know what I mean. He's just, no he's just messing. Yeah. Like he's messing with his hands and he's messing with the beats and yeah. There's this one. There's this one uh, sticking pattern he he likes to do, and I'd always look over and just like kind of just you know observe what like what is that guy doing? What kind of sticking yeah. pattern is is that guy doing? But uh. He, he him too he's real laid back uh real chill uh yeah. he gets he gets in his he gets in his zone he gets in his his mode um i think um it was kind of it was it was it was it was difficult for me because that was my first time uh being on tour and being green uh even for a musician who's been playing for so long uh just trying to confide in, in in those guys and trying to say like hey what's you know like even miggy but the, the, the they're all in their own zone man so you kind of yeah. just gotta pick up and go you know what I mean? yes you gotta pick up and go and that's something i learned really quick it was like second show i was like oh this is the vibe this is how things are gonna get done right? this is how we roll yeah, yeah this is how we roll and then and, and it's over yeah yeah by san antonio uh, by the fourth show, man, I was like, I set, I set a precipice, and I was like, by San Antonio, this is gonna be it. This is where I'm gonna be comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was at that, 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 that Boeing place, right? That yes. Boeing. Uh, yeah. I heard it's it badass cool. there. It was cool, man. Even if I don't ever get to go out on tour again, I feel like it was God's timing. 
You know what I mean? I feel <laughs> like everything Fuck yeah. was uh, was set in place for me to experience what I experienced. I, I I've been uh, feeling a lot of gratitude lately too, and that's been combating um, the feelings of uh, inadequacy and and just like imposter syndrome that I've been feeling lately with with my mental you know state. Is that like, hey man, you f- you fucking got to rock some badass theaters Fuck and some yes. great crowds with with an amazing set of bands, man. Yeah, and that's something that will always be there for you to look always. back. You know what I mean? So uh, that I'm so freaking grateful and uh, to do that, and always grateful when the guys uh, of, of El Nino for allowing me to do that. And like I said, man, if I don't ever get to go. At least I did that, man, and it was amazing, bro. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Out of that tour, what was your favorite city to play? It had to have been New York, bro. We were in Times Square. Oh, it was shit. freaking Fuck amazing. Yes. I'd never been there. You know what I mean? And so yeah. it was It was so cool. It's just got this energy, this aura, this vibe that you automatically, you, you know how to act. You know how to just, uh, like, kind of just gel in with that crowd. And yeah, what, and what that whole you feel the history, you know, when you're in Times Square and you walk into one of those Killer. little dive bars or the restaurants or whatever. And we when we played that, uh, we played that, uh, the freaking that that man, it's escaping me too. But we played that place there at a theater in, in Times Square, man, and it was freaking awesome. It was freaking Ooh, crazy. That's some and shit, so, man. You got to make it back. I, I it want back. to, yeah, I want to, man. Uh, the, and, and two, so like, I, I, I say it a lot too, man. Like at forty three, um, hell I, yeah, I, I haven't given up hope. You know what I mean? No. Like, you got a lot of opportunity, man. It's it's already out there. You got this under your belt, so you you know you're already a road dog. So nah, it's just a yeah, matter of bro. another opportunity coming up. It may be with Kerosene Shores doing a, a, another tour of their own. You yes, know, so yes, bro. Yes. all the best, all the best. Let's Thank see, you, just man. hope for the best future, and you just keep living the dream, brother. That's Thank the you shit. so much. Thank you. Yeah. Let me get to this next one. Okay, I gotta ask you this. You know, you getting up. Well, before I before I I move on into a different subject, I gotta ask you: Is, is there a favorite drummer you got uh, that's out right now that you're just like, oh man, I really like the way he fucking does his thing. Mm, that I'm listening to, uh, it's weird. I I don't mean to sound like a straight like Homer, like, but I I just champion Lars, man. Like I kind of just right. respect the fact that he gets uh shit talked on him so much that I yeah. just kind of just like I I always I always enjoy seeing my. My YouTube alert on my phone and Metallica just put out a new live video. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck and yeah. so like as shitty as he you know he does play, it's like I love the sound that they do for him live. You know what I mean? Oh, and fuck just yes. seeing James and and Kirk at their age and even Rob. Rob is master, you know oh, what I mean? And, yes. Um, just seeing them play live and their production. Uh I, I always like to do that. As far as like like somebody that I, in particular um it could just it could just vary um i have so many drummers that i look up to and just okay. listen to from time to time um like i said though in this time of of life uh man i've just been focused on these bands that i'm that i'm learning the music for so i really don't have time to to uh just be in like the know and in the mix and uh it's a good thing for me because it kind of just it it it's kind of just leaves a little space in my mind just for some kind of sanity, <laughs> you know. Yeah. What I mean? Some yes. kind of sanity, dude. Uh, I'll pop in, uh, like, dude. Lately, this past week, I've just been jamming Jimmy World. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. just like totally different from, <laughs> yeah. from metal, but it's balancing me out. And it's weird because I don't even know the drummer from Jimmy World, but his drums on that thing are so big. like on that on that record uh bleed america is just like uh man it's so good it's so good, good. Shit. so just some stuff like that you know what i mean um yeah. uh, it just varies bro it varies man so i i definitely dig it man well I got to give a shout out because one guy I've been seeing that that's been made a made a massive move that really jumped into some big shoes 
was our guy Eloy Casagrande. Oh, oh right. Holy yeah. shit, dude. I was yeah. watching him do eyeless from the drum drum cam yes last night. And I had to, I saw like four or five times, dude. Just holy shit. The tightness, but the the groove and always pushing it, always like uh, uh just and everything, note for note, it's like fuck, it's like Joey Jordison on fucking crack or something, man. Cause awesome. it just right. out of this world. Love awesome. the guy. I love what he did with yeah. Sepatuda to you know to bring him on the big scene like that and just amazing guy. Amazing yes. guy. Yeah, dude. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't speak enough uh, about how inspirational Eloy has been uh, jumping into the Slipknot role. Um, for me personally, I mean, the love for Joey is there. Um, I like to. Uh, for me, it's. Uh, I like to compare it to the bassists for the bassists for for Metallica. Man, you got Jason, who to yes. me is the life force of Metallica. You got Cliff who is endeared, who is beloved. That dude is amazing. And then to me, you got Rob, who is the most technical bass player in Metallica. That dude, right? He 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 can play anything he wants. Well, Slipknot Joey Jordison's the most endeared. He's the most beloved. Jay Weinberg, you know what I mean? To me, yeah, no disrespect. I've said it before. You know what I mean? He was to me, he's he did. He got the job done. He made some records. He did some good stuff. He's a phenomenal drummer. He's jamming with suicidal tendencies right now. Yeah. Um, and so he's a, he's another uh, another amazing drummer. I just felt like his style was uh, it just didn't fit too too good in Slipknot for me. But then you got an Eloy, and the dude's the best drummer uh, Slipknot's ever had. Right. Uh, I, I don't care what anybody says. Eloy is the best drummer Slipknot's ever had. And that's twenty five years into their career. You know what right. I mean? They hit the yeah. jackpot. They hit the freaking jackpot, bro. So Fuck yeah. Um, like yeah, man, that dude is phenomenal. Uh, have you ever checked out uh El Estabario on uh on YouTube? No. He's, he's from he's from uh South America. Uh yeah, El, yeah, El Estabario, bro. He El is I'll, I'll send you a link, dude. He's amazing. I know you've seen his videos. Send me. He'll do some bit. He'll do some crazy stuff, bro. And a lot of uh, a lot of covers. And he just he's yeah. He's an octopus, bro. It's weird because his his four way independence is so freaking amazing. He Don't say doing... it's that one crazy motherfucker that plays everything with one hand. With one, yeah, with the beard. Yes. He, he'll be like ta, 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 and then he'll take like a, a rip from the joint. And he'll just yes, like, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I love that bro. guy. That guy I have amazing. to watch everything. When, yes. when he comes up on my reel, I just keep going. When he's got another song, I watch him do it all. How the fuck does he do that shit? Wow, bro, it's like Talking he could, he could have been he could have been in Slipknot too if he wanted. To. Yeah, he could have been playing that shit one handed, right? Oh, yeah, fuck. dude, yeah, Crazy. that's easy. Yes, I do know that guy. I love yes. that guy. You know, yeah. before I started singing, I was a drummer. I went to school for drums. I played in the Delmar band and all that oh, good nice. shit. Nice. I love drums, exactly. man. I fucking love drums. So you you had some formal teachings then. Yeah, the absolutely, That's man. So cool. I, it was awesome, bro, to, to be able to take it to that level where I was working with fucking badass drummers, dude, that... You know, even though they, they had nothing to do with metal, but they had chops beyond belief and they could walk the talk and, and, and talk the talk. And they were just um, super guys. Norman Weinberg was the main guy. Norman okay. Weinberg and the other guy was uh, Spade, maybe Scott Spade. But Norman Weinberg used to write. He had his own column in, in Drummer Magazine uh, oh, monthly. Nice. And he worked at, at, at Del Mar and he got he got so many things done under his belt. Why he was at Del Mar, I guess he liked the beats, dude. But a super cool guy that was teaching me stuff on the kit, he had a thing for for the kit, and that's what I was going for. And then I also played percussion ensemble where we were doing a little bit of, you know, timpanis, uh, yeah. different kind of uh, timbales, and all the different, all the extra kind of good stuff. And that's then I played so awesome. in the in the wind ensemble too. So we're we're playing fucking xylophones and all kinds of shit. So it was a great time, dude. It was a great time. And while I'm thinking about it, while I was there at Del Mar the most unlikely person that i played in the drum ensemble with never in a fucking metal shirt never wearing anything black turned me on to corn and machine head and mm. i don't know where i was with those guys you know but he was like you ever heard of corn i was like no dude well, check them out. <laughs> Do you like him i'm like okay checked him out i was like dude these guys are badass and the machine head i was like 
okay, I'll check him out. And I was like, machine head, what the, oh. where, where the fuck did I miss this one? Yeah. So it just always reminds me of that, that if it wasn't for me going to Del Mar, I would have never, who knows when I would have caught on to that, that wave of machine head and corn, but, and we were still ahead of the game. That's what I liked. It was, you know, cool. everything takes a while to get to Corpus. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Austin, San Antonio, finally Corpus gets some love, and we're, we're up to up to speed. But yeah, it always reminds me of that moment. But let me keep going. I do want to give a shout out. We got the main event in the house, Furman Torres. Yeah, that's Fuck, what's up. Yeah. Love the Woo. main event. And love you guys. Make sure you check keeping up with the main event podcast. Give him some love. Subscribe to his show. And if you love wrestling, you need to be watching the main event podcast. He's dropping episodes all the time and keeping you up to date with everything going on with wrestling. So keep jamming, Furman. I'm glad you're watching the show. I love the comments, dude. Hell yeah. Keep them coming. Furman is a lifer. Among yes, lifers, bro. Fuck so. yeah. Furman, big shout out, brother. Hell yeah, man. It's good to see you're, you're hanging in the, in the chat. Yes, big time. I got to ask you, since you have become more of a morning person getting the workouts done, do you make time for breakfast? Ah, uh, dude, what's that's your something... breakfast thing? Is you, you got a favorite thing you do for breakfast, or are you too busy to get get some? I I try to I try to uh, skip uh, breakfast and try and take it to uh, to uh, to lunch, man, if I can. So uh, I try to do the uh, like a like kind of trying to twelve to fifteen hour fast just to keep my weight. At the age of forty three, my my metabolism isn't as fast anymore. So I'm yeah, kind of carrying a, a lot of water weight and. Uh, more so and just if i feel like if i eat anything it's already just you know what i mean it's a, i kind yeah. of feel like and my, my diet is uh my diet isn't the best so that's another thing focusing going into 44 uh year 44 is uh try to get my diet intact in i feel like um when i do eat uh right uh the engine is running revving on all yeah. and you feel good and you feel great your mind is clear and it just sucks that the music, that that the music, the, the the food that we are being fed today, uh, through through the industry, it's just it's not good, man. You know, and it's well for me. I mean, it makes me feel just so just sluggish, tired, bloated. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the really thing, good. man. Just trying to gear up and and try to to focus on getting that. I really want. That's another added incentive uh, to the lifestyle that I've taken on is trying to get the diet intact. Yes, we'll hell yes. Goes, it's gonna be a battle. That's another battle in itself. So. You know what? Me being a uh, what I do for a living is I cook. I'm a chef. I'm a supervisor. So I'm my wife's personal chef. So I cook for. Her. She's lost maybe 80, 90 pounds, dude, just by eating clean. Then nice. that, that would just keep in a strict diet of no processed food, no cheese, no. When I'm cooking barbecue, no chorizo, no no sausage. Or anything. I was like, no more yeah. sausage. No, nope, that's processed. Um, and just every meal, it's always water. And a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, a salad a day, a, a good hearty dinner at night, no starches. But every so often, we, we, we'll we do like the sweet potato. We'll do brown rice. You know, I do those kind of good healthy starches. But we do have a cheat day, which is Friday or Saturday. And uh, I just can't, I can't say the enough good things about her discipline because I, on the other hand, am fixing a whole different meal for me and my son, you know, tonight, you know, we just happened to end up doing a, you know, grilled chicken with, with, with zucchini, uh, like a veg, veg, like a bowl, well, barbecue style. I got a hire you, night, man. She had a shrimp boil and we had Taco Tuesday night. Yeah. So I got a lot to learn, but I'm she's, so stubborn, bro. I'm so she's, stubborn. She's a and that the diet, oh, it's awesome. what you put in it. You got to, yeah. you got to put in like you love this thing. And yeah. I just, I've been, I got some bad habits that I got to conquer. Yeah. So, sure. you guys got if you guys got them out there as well as I do, you're not alone. So yeah. keep fighting the good fight. Keep yes. staying away from the sugar, the uh, the the sugar fix that you gotta have at night, man. It's so tough. Stay away from the cookie aisle. Stay away yes. from the sodas. Uh, yes. And, yes. And just think yeah. think about how much better you're gonna feel after the fact. Yeah. yeah. But you gotta go through it, and then you get the reward. You so there you go, brother. Yes, one sir. more thing. One more thing. While we're on the health thing, what's your favorite meal? Uh, favorite meal, man. I like to just go with something. Uh, my wife can make an amazing salad, bro. Like better than yeah. anything I've ever tasted. You know, uh, as far as my taste buds go, I, it's it's freaking amazing. So I'll have her buy the uh, 
the uh, cran the, the little cranberry stuff, the bits. Yeah. Uh, we should put the uh, should put like chunks of uh, they come like uh, I guess uh, chunks of the turkey. You get some chunks of turkey. Ooh, put yeah. In there, um, and then the, the leafy greens. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, dude, oh, big big thing for me too is uh, just for some sweetness and some taste, dude. I love putting pineapples in my salad. Bro, oh, the sweetness, yes. I love pineapples, bro, and I love putting them just like I love putting them on pizza, people. I love putting them on. Uh, <laughs> you on like the Hawaiian? Salad. The oh, I love the Hawaiian, bro. That's my favorite pizza, dude. <laughs> if it comes with the great Canadian bacon, bro, even better, bro. I love it, dude. Ooh, I love it. That's what I, I love do. it. Yeah. So, uh, man, if you have any suggestions where a good Hawaiian pizza is, man, let me know because I'm always down <laughs> to try that. But yeah, good salad, bro. I love it. I'll, if, like I said, dude, if it's like a cheat day, I'll, I'll go ahead and indulge with some ranch. But it's always kind of just like the balsamic, you know. Oh, balsamic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, stuff like that. But uh, man, uh, like I said, bro, it's so good. And she'll just pack everything on. Uh, yeah. As far as just like it being a really big uh, party. Because I do have an appetite, man. And that's what I thank God for. I have a great appetite. <laughs> um, it's one of it's one of her homemade uh uh it's one of her homemade salads so, that i cherish the most man and yeah and just like uh if i'm feeling uh, a little bit on the lighter side too i just have her uh she can make some amazing tuna man i just love man. tuna just yes you like the tuna there. with um with or without pickles uh I'll put, I'll put the relish cuts in there Oh, the cuts. Cuts. How about yeah. eggs? Do you do hard boiled eggs? Yeah, man? we'll do the hard boiled eggs, man. It's, freaking, you know me. Oh, it's paradise, bro. It, it is paradise. It. Yes. I love uh, it, man. Thinking so, about lunch already. You know, yes. it's just a lot to keep to keep the body going. So that's why I wanted to dig a little deeper, you know, asking about your gear, asking about what, what you put in your body and all that good stuff, man, because you're looking good. Thank you're looking you. good. I, and I, I want to look that good. So, you know, the key to success, watch what you put in your body, exercise, yeah. Yeah. and try and keep this together, too. Yeah, you I've know, taken on the. That's the hard taken, part. I've taken on the mindset, Tony, of just doing the. Uh, it's the best that I can do right now, but it might not be the healthiest. But it, it is a caloric uh, deficit. Skipping the meal, you know what I mean. Skipping breakfast. Yeah. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll take a, I'll take a small bit of uh, pre-workout in the morning with some creatine. I'll, I'll, I'll burn through the workout. I'll burn, push, push, push. Get the metabolism, blood flowing. And yeah, then sk skipping that breakfast to where your body is 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 at full function, you start burning those calories, and that's how I kind of just keep the weight down. You know what I mean? And then just yeah. finally, at that eleventh hour at eleven a.m., getting into closer to uh, to lunch, man, I'll have I'll have I'll have a meal. You know what I mean? There so, you go. Finally, yeah, so it's kind of keep it. I'm trying to keep the abs going, man, and it's such yeah. a struggle because I was like. Ah, I want some pizza <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? And then the wife's That's tempting right. me. Mickey's tempting me. She's like, come on, baby. Let's go get, you know, like five guys or something. Five right. Guys. I know. It's like, yo, damn, it sounds so good. Yeah, it no. sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's just, yeah, it's a struggle. But, dude, just hearing you talk about your nutrition and, yeah. and, and the stuff that you cook, I need to hire you or I need to get some kind of outline to a guideline, man. I will pay just. If you can give me some yeah, I can sort send of you some. I can just send you some basic ideas, and you follow. can kind of season them up yourself to your liking. But it's plain. It's it's in a way, it's kind of plain Jane. But it gets the job done, yeah. and you just gotta beef it up. Eat all the protein you want, and all the all the veggies, and make sure you get plenty of fruits. Get your natural yes. sugar from your fruits, your grapefruit, you your your strawberries, Thanks. your blueberries, your blackberries, grapes. Man, a lot of stuff, but the thing is, when you want to eat healthy, it's expensive too. It's expensive, yeah. That's the yes. downside of it. But you know, hey, if anything's worth it, it's not going to be cheap, and it's I not going to be easy. Yeah. So you just got to. I gotta... want my body to feel great, Tony. So that's great, man. Just you're dropping a lot of knowledge, and so man, if I can get some help, that'd be great, bro. I appreciate it. Let me look. Oh shit! Your wife chimed in. She said, "Let me find out you're throwing away those." Those what? I need to put what? my glasses on. What did she say? <laughs> what did she say? She said, "Let me find out you're throwing away those kolaches from S and J's." Oh I bring you. man! <laughs> so, I'll, uh, so Tony, confession here. I'll take one bite and just give it to my dog on the route. Dog, there's a sweet dog, and I'll be like, "Here you go." Here you oh. go. So <laughs> Mickey is going to a good cause. Mickey, it's a dog on my route, baby. 
Oh my God. Yeah, I get it, dude. They, that, that dog needs to eat. And you yeah. see him, you're like, oh man, I wish I had something for him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the eyes. The eyes do it for me, man. Just little puppy eyes. I'm just like, Okay, she's go. the best man she yeah, always yeah. takes care of you man yeah for sure <laughs> that's awesome for sure, hey man. real quick i, I want to give a shout out um who's this remind me of the scream name of of sick acts five sick acts five huh why does that remind is, is don't tell is me that, that woody? that's woody that's woody it's woody, it's woody all right, right? Matt, all right and so matt's in there he's giving you a shout out Okay. And what's John Benavides too as well. What's up? Hey, John? what's up, John Boy? That's right, man. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Port Ayers, man. Hell uh, yeah. He, he moved back. He was uh I think he was at downtown. Um, uh, but yeah, love, right. fellow, fellow mail carrier. Uh, oh fuck yes. And uh fellow musician doing his thing. So that's cool, man. And yes. Woody too, man. Woody uh Woody recently opened up his practice with the Woodworks congratulations oh, exactly so his own guys, office yes if you guys ever need help man just look at look him up man and, and uh yeah he's great great resource for that type of stuff man yes and you'll be happy to to know that that uh that woody's going to be joining us this year for the christmas that's show. what's up woody that's what's up. Is this, that's a first that's hey, what's up okay I'm telling you, it's going to be a, that energy in the, in the, in the, the christmas mix is going to be great something yeah, really cool, special man. right there that's yeah, so cool. shout out Matt. Glad to have you in the All Stars. Yeah, yes. hell yeah, you're in, baby. That's so what's up? let me hit you with a couple more questions before we wrap things up. Go for it. What's the last movie you saw, dude? Hey, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. It's a ten out of ten. Might be the best in the franchise, and that's Alien Romulus, bro. Dude, it was good. I saw it. It was badass, bro. That thing just didn't even let up. You thought the movie was over. Plot twist, you know what I mean? It kept it's going. So there was never good. downtime. It kept your ass watching that so shit the whole good. time. And I'm a huge fan of uh, Prometheus. I, th I thought that, like, but this one oh, was like, like yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, dude. Even even Covenant was was good, but Alien Romulus, y'all go check that one out, brother. Y'all go check yes. that one out. That's that's a cool, cool sci-fi, uh, sci-fi, sci-fi uh you know, horror. Uh, was, yeah, I mean, it's not as horror. scary. It's just really weird. You know, the whole alien thing is just weird. It's yes, like dude. They're always spooky, so right? fucking wicked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like okay. the the tie-in that they had. I guess with the uh, um, Rook, who was whether he was cloned or not, but from yeah. the original aliens, right? Yes. All half of his body and shit. I remember that dude. I was like, oh shit, that's a tie-in. Yes. But, so this one happened in between. Aliens and Alien, Alien, Part One and Part Two. Yes, it happens in between. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. So. Okay, fucking which is, bad. Which is crazy if you kind of think about it. We were well, I mean, not not crazy, but the tech. There's some technology in it. I don't know. Yes. And for those who who haven't seen it, um, you know, I'm not. I guess I shouldn't spoil anything. But it's just a good movie. Go check it out. It's uh, been out for a while. If you haven't seen it, out. go see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let, but, me, let me ask you this: Did you have, have you had a chance to check out Long Legs with no. Nicolas Cage? Is it good, bro? That's a, that's a crazy movie. There, no it's shit. It's <laughs> about a serial killer and uh, yeah, and, uh, and an FBI agent who's trying to crack the, the case, man. And uh, so Nicolas Cage is like a ugly, scary looking dude, serial killer. Oh no shit! And uh, it's got a crazy uh, plot twist type of deal to that movie too. It's one of those suspense. Yeah, kind of serial killer type long legs, man. Check it out. It, it might be on demand already. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Cool, good. I've been I've yeah. heard good things about it. I need to check that out. So you guys check out long legs too. Absolutely, yeah, brother. And and yeah. shout out to you, Deadpool and Wolverine fans. That was a great I, movie. I haven't had a chance. I haven't uh -huh. had a chance to check it out. So much fun. Good so stuff. much fun. Cool, man. So let me ask you one other thing. Did you follow the Olympics? Did oh. you watch that? Uh, uh, very little. Uh, I always like to, to view the track and field, man. Track and field's always been uh, a big part yeah. of me. And so when they when they run the 100, 200, the 100 hurdles, the 400, the, the relay teams, yeah. that's when I kind of uh, that's when I kind of uh, view the most. Um, uh, I mean, other than that, it's it is kind of hard to uh, get a chance to view uh, the the events when when life's just coming at you. But uh, I mean, the biggest highlight for me was Gojira. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was insane. Uh, yes. 
Hail Gojira. That was insane. Bringing metal to the masses yeah. worldwide, dude. Kick it yeah. ass. So wow. cool, man. So cool to see them do that and for them to get the opportunity. And it's it's even crazier. And Woody can attest to this, but it's even crazier to have witnessed them in 2016 at House of Rock, bro. Yeah. Fuck oh, yes. nuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just yeah. them, like, whoa. Like, you're, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like watching them and I'm like, dude, I saw them at House of Rock, dude. It's <laughs> so right. nuts. And now they're on the biggest stage in the world. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. So no turning back for those guys. Yeah. So super prop, great musicians, super guys. Um, yeah. So that's what I think that was my highlight too for the Olympics right there. But, uh, you know, I just like greatness. I like watching, cool. watching athletes like musicians striving for the best to be the best. And, you know, that's whether it's, uh, you know, our, we won so many medals, USA. And, and you know, it was whether it was our swimming, whether it was, well, real quick, how about, did you check out Ray Gun? Dude, <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? I was thinking of that as, <laughs> as a, like, tidbits thinking of that as you were talking. Yes. And I was like, man, I wonder if he's going to mention Ray Gun. And uh, yeah, dude, so I did, and uh, that's a trip, bro. It's a real trip. I don't really know. I got I got reservations about that whole thing. Yes, she's for real. She is for real. From where she's from, she's the legit thing. She trains people how to do break dancing uh, and stuff, and it wild. just it's almost like night and day our our translation of what we know is breaking and what Australian break dancing is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, what is going on? You know, and. I mean, yeah. I mean, Def, she became a, a meme lord. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, unfortunately, Sometimes, that's what yeah. happens in this day and age. You become a, a meme lord. You know? Yes, dude. Hell yes, man. All right. So, remind me real quick before we go to the Draw the Line upcoming shows. I know you're going to be in San Antonio, right? The Fuel Bar? So, we're playing. Yeah. First up, uh, first on the docket is going to be uh, BFB Club. Uh with uh kerosene shores man y'all check Houston. them out once okay. again you check them out on apple music spotify uh and just give a quick shout out to my boys and kerosene with eric and sean and and brandon man uh they're all top-notch musicians and they're great people to hang around with and uh we're gonna get our uh we're gonna get our rehearsal on this weekend and then after that um night party the 21st at uh at fuel bar uh shout out to my boys you know in that band you know hector frank and yeah. Woody, you know, uh, and, and then we're doing the Valley, uh, right? Yeah, it's it's uh, the 28th. Man, I wish I had the flyer on me. Um, and that's at a theater. That's a that's a different theater. Uh, we haven't played that one yet, but it's going to be fun. Uh, and that one's with, uh, I believe, like a, a Lincoln Park. Okay. Uh, I'm all scrambled yeah. right now, but yeah. And then and then and then October 5th that uh at uh at house of rock with uh relent and opening up brad b man that's gonna be fun gonna be oh fun. hell yeah love hearing all the shows you gotta catch john you got and, and and for you guys that haven't had the opportunity to see john play live go check it out it's you're gonna be fucking you're you're gonna love it man because he brings that fucking that flair that you want to see in a drummer and you know, if he's playing for the band, the band's going to kick ass. So, uh, you know, yes. I'll vouch for Relent. I'll vouch for Kerosene Shores. I'll vouch for Knife Party and the list of all your bands, Serpents and Saviors, Periwinkle Thank Massacre. You. The list oh, goes bro, on. And, of course, amazing. his work in the All-Stars. Everything you yes. do, it's always brought with that high caliber of that standard of excellence, brother. You got that platinum excellence going on, man. Because, like you said, you, you bring that competitive nature where it's friendly but you're there to destroy things you know yes. what i mean and and yes. you're gonna make an impression and people are gonna remember that shit. and that's how it gets done the right way man Fuck yeah thank, thank you so much tony thank you for that man i appreciate it i feel uh sometimes like ostracized i feel like an outcast man i feel like people don't get me but when when people like you are saying that stuff man it's really kind and really kind of reiterates and solidifies why i do this man it's yes i appreciate it i want more i love i love that that personality about you and you expressing yourself like that so don't thank ever you brother stop. this Keep has been coming. a big help bro thank you so much man I've, I've needed this talk man so i appreciate it yes brother now let's time now it's time to draw the line so you guys that are watching this is the part of the segment of our show where we're going to wrap things up but i want to pick john's brain as, as to who his favorite 
maybe singer, maybe drummer, maybe band might be out of these next five that I'm going to throw together. So let's start off with um, a couple of drummers. And I'm going to just throw them at you right here. Danny Carey versus Abe Cunningham. Dude, I mean, personal tastes, uh, I, I, I gear towards Abe Cunningham with the groove, the style, Ooh, yeah, the hard hitting um, velocity of Abe Cunningham, uh, especially in those earlier albums. I mean, Adrenaline. I mean, my yeah. favorite Death Tones album, Around the Fur. Bro, you oh, can't that's go my wrong. Favorite, dude. You know what Fuck, I mean? Yes. But the, 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 the tenacity and technicality of, of uh, Danny Carey, bro, is unmatched, you know, as far as him uh, with the, his projects and, and the things that he does. He's in, so he's in a numerous uh, number of projects. But, dude, I mean, Inema is an all-time great album. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like it can't be, it can't be beat when you, when you kind of put others to that style of music, the progressive right? style of music. Yeah, Danny Carey is a, is a master. And so I got to see them the last time they came down at American Bank. It was awesome. awesome. And they just played, show. they played deep cuts and it was still amazing. <laughs> still. It was freaking amazing. Yeah, my yeah. buddy Frank, uh, he was gracious enough to give me, uh, to give me in. Uh, he gave me All a right, ticket. Frank. And we kind of just, you know, we did a little uh, extracurriculars and we had a good time, man. So, man, I'm telling you, that's, that's the good, best man. way, man. Tool, they, they, they have a way of, uh, you know, they're one of my favorite bands. Tool and Slayer are my favorite bands. Cool, I love the, cool. the ferocity and the evilness and the jams that Slayer brings, but I love the intelligence, the musicianship, yeah. and the psychological twist that Manu yeah. brings to the whole mix that Tool brings. Yeah. So, yeah, there were fucking deep cuts. A couple of songs I hadn't yes. had a chance to listen to yet, but yeah. I was just amazed by the whole package, and it Bro. keeps you included. I was blown away yeah. by their production set. Right. They were all blown away, yeah. man. Yeah. It don't get and better. No, no, it doesn't. Um, but it, it was also cool to see that those guys are real. They you can tell yeah. they're not playing to uh to click tracks the whole time. You know, Danny had yeah. a little mishap there. And that was <laughs> like to me, that's like so freaking cool to see that that, yes. that shit is real, man. They're up there playing. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And and their songs. There are no walk in the park. No way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, big, big respect to Danny Carey. It's so, but to me, you know, I, I am in a Deftones cover band and, and I tried to uh, emulate Abe Cunningham as much as possible. It's not an easy task. Um, uh, but, dude, to Abe, uh, Abe is in, I, yeah, he has my heart. So, we're going to go Abe Cunningham. Abe is killer. I was, I was blessed to. I've seen him several times, but the time that I remember him, uh playing that i watched him the most was on the around the fur tour around the fur tour when they were on uh Ozfest, right in between primus and fucking rob zombie and around the fur man you see chino with that fucking the chinese outfit Bro. he's wearing up on stage oh man the yeah. best of times in 99. were you so, in uh san antonio for that yeah fuck that Bro. was uh slipknot was there and slayer was there and black i Saturday. was out there i was there i was just that was the one right yeah. that saturday and uh that was the first time I saw Deftones, and as soon as they came up with came out with head up, Ooh. the whole crowd just Holy went like shit. this yeah. sideways. Oh I, shit! I couldn't move, and I was yeah. so scared because I thought I was gonna get crushed, bro. It was <laughs> it was a crazy experience, man. But that yes. show right there, man, was so awesome. Bro. Oh was yes, crazy. I was Deftones fan for life after that, man. Yeah, you hear cool. them, but when you see them, it's like, oh yeah, that's yeah. the shit. That's Some another bands, band. Some bands are you you the, you you. You can't do without that live show, you know. Yeah. It's like Metallica. You want that live Metallica, you know. You yeah. they've done everything, whether it's saying anger, anything off of saying anger is gonna have a different effect live because you ain't got that production bullshit. Yeah, so yeah. it's always gonna come out cranking. So let me uh, keep this rolling. Next one right here, Dave Lombardo versus Igor Cavalera. So we're talking Slayer versus Sepatuda. <laughs> Technicality. This is. I'm gonna go with the same thing. Technicality against uh, just pure raw uh, uh, emotion and groove. Uh, this one's hard, dude. This one is so hard because yes. I love. I, I got love, you. I love season, <laughs> seasons in the abyss. You know, that's one of my. That's my favorite Slayer album. But uh, I'm gonna go Igor just because he's uh, more tribal. He's got the tribal aspect. 
He does yeah. uh, have just that more that more raw, uh, uh, driven emotion to his playing. But yeah. I mean, dude, I mean, you can't take anything away from Dave Lombardo to his phantomous to his freaking right uh, you know his all the gigs how many gigs that that guy's a trade straight up misfits trooper. suicidal misfits, suicidal shit. yeah dude uh you know and his time in slayer i mean slayer like i, I i've talked to you about him and paul boss stuff i mean oh yeah so there's no comparison to me i mean dave lombardo's leaps and bounds and that's not taking anything away from paul boss stuff he's a great drummer but there's just nobody that could fill that spot like Dave Lombardo, man. You know what yeah. I mean? So he's amazing to his footwork. Even at this age, he makes it Ooh. seem like nothing, dude. What he's a master. There. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? So, master. Uh, Big shout outs. Love, love us. Love some but, uh, Lombardo. I got to listen to uh, look up his solo album, dude. I heard about two tracks off it. I'm fucking okay. far out. The far percussive, out. The Good stuff. Album. Yeah, very impressive. You'll dig Ooh, it. Man. Okay, yes. my, my next one's up. How about Howard Jones versus Tommy Vexed? Hello. Oh, oh, man. Tommy Vexed is very, I mean, dude, he is uh, very talented. There's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, like a guy is, he's got a, a set of pipes on him, bro. He can belt it out and he can sing. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, dude. What he but did I mean, with... ha Howard, Howard, Howard uh, has a special place in my heart. Howard Jones is uh top five singers for me bro he is so amazing yes. and it doesn't get enough love but uh i think i've talked to you about this too man the, the, the 2009 self-titled kill switch album is like well, it might be my favorite like even above as far as like the howard jones era goes you know even yeah, more yeah. so than the end of heartache that album has so much freaking like uh just person personal just you can tell it was like so some yeah. dark, some dark personal uh, issues in the He's lyrics and, and the music. And Adam Gray, I mean Gray, Adam uh, D was cool. just uh, was, uh, writing <laughs> He's some amazing. great guitar parts. And the whole band was. I love that album. To starting over to uh, to uh, freaking the return. Like yeah. I have so many great songs on there. So I mean, dude, Howard Jones, bro, Howard Jones is amazing. Howard and he's doing, loves. he's doing, he's doing a project with Adam coming out soon, man. So I can't wait to to hear that. Ooh, yeah, you know, Howard, he's a man, and he's so much fun. You know, I listen to him on. He's he's always doing Jamie's show. You yeah. know, uh, on the podcast, and he's such a fucking crack up. I love his laugh, <laughs> and he just seems like yeah, you know, one of the best yeah. guys in metal. So Great big proud, big, big shout out, Howard Jones. Hell yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How about these two bands? How about Fear Factory versus Sepatura? Oh, damn. Oh, it, it kind of, um, it goes based on, off of genre. You know what I mean? If you want that synthetic, robotic, futuristic type of uh, band, and there's bands out there such as Death Townsend, Cybreed. You know, then then um, yeah. Fear Factory is right up there with them. But if you go more the raw thrash, uh uh tribalistic uh you know sepultura is there uh man i'm gonna go sepultura though you know what i mean i grew up on on sepultura and and uh idolizing uh igor you know what yeah. i mean and then and then and then eloy carrying the torch yes you know man I mean? they so, had the, they had some fucking killers man Fuck yeah. yeah yeah igor uh one of the masters man one of the, the thrash masters and still to this day still doing it so yeah definitely going with sepulchre, bro. sepulchre john i gotta do a little uh tony gomez show flashback when i had you and hector here the first time on the show we were talking about the first time you ever heard sepatura and yes. it's one of my favorite <laughs> podcast moments, dude. Because you're yeah. like, "What the fuck is this guy for real?" <laughs> this guy for real. Well, my friend showed me the, the, the yes. set for Rise, dude, and I was like, "Okay, uh, what is this?" And the was, vocals, right, bro? I was I'd never heard anything like that. Before. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a joke. I was like, "Oh my god," you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Yes. So I'm glad. I I'm love glad that honesty, stuck with you, dude. Man. I love it. Yeah. That's that's like your the first react. You know how you have these these YouTube guys first reaction when they hear the song. Yes. You know, yes. and that was so honest, dude. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious <laughs> but on, right now? Right. Yeah, okay. But on the rise, fuck yeah, they were serious, right? Fuck yeah, dude. That was. <laughs> amazing dude i and then i was uh, at the same time i was looking at the album cover and so yeah. i was a pretty sheltered kid you know what i mean i didn't have access to 
too the, the thrash and and the death that, that kind was, of stuff that was right? going around you know what i mean my older peers did but yeah I wasn't in the know. And so when I saw that cover, I'm like, what in the, what the fuck? fuck? Like, what is this? And then yes. you hear the music that accompanies it, and you're just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? That was weird, dude. It was yes, so cool. Yes, bro. But yeah, listen so to you now. You're like, hey, Sepa dude all day. Igor, yes, fuck bro. yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, and the sure. rest is history. Fuck that's yes. It. All right, this is the last one, brother. Okay, we're going back to drums. Okay, we're talking about John Domayan from System of a Down versus Joey Jordison. Oh, Joey Jordison all day. Uh, oh, John, that was John's, an easy one for you. Yeah, John's cool, uh, especially with his uh, jazz chops and stuff that he's yeah. with System. You know what I mean? He's very uh, articulate. He uses a lot of high-pitched toms, roto-toms, stuff like that, and just very... Uh, very tasteful uh drumming that he does but joey jordison with the raw emotion and just like the feels that he did and uh, i i loved his drum tone on uh on uh what's it called man I on was... uh no no it was uh what is it volume four no the, it was the, it was his last album uh, oh shit. What, what was it? like, uh, it's before the great chapter i'm trying to think which one was yes. that i hope uh, it's gone all hope is gone. I oh, loved his yeah. drum tone on that album. Yes, dude. And and it like his feels, like I felt like that was peak Jordison. Like he was so mature in that album yeah. as opposed to the other albums where he was he was uh may I say he was uh a little more um like uh just kind of just out there and he would take more chances on those albums. And yeah, he was still finding his way. I felt like all hope is gone. He was just that was mature Jordison. He he had his drum tone down. He had his patterns down. And dude, like I said, man, uh, Jordison broke Jordison all day. Uh, he he is like I said, bro. He's deeply missed along with the Rev and some other drummers that we've. I know exactly. Long, man, so. so many, so many great fucking musicians. Too many to name. Yeah, too many to name. And, and and you know they, we're all on our way. We're all trying to get to heaven or that 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 beautiful place on the other side. And yes. these guys, they beat us there. Yeah. They beat us there. And yeah. when we get there, we're gonna have some fun with them too. God willing. We're God gonna willing. have a great. We're gonna have a great concert, man. That's what a concert, something. man! It's yeah, gonna be man. it's gonna be Ozfest all over again. <laughs> you know the right, best right. Dude, all day. Yeah. Concerts yeah. are the best, dude. Yes, sir. Well, real quick, I want to make sure that you guys are checking out Kerosene Shores. That's what Thank John's you. got up his sleeve right now. Check them out. Make the trip up to up, up there with September 14th to Houston and check them out at BFE Club. I'm telling you, that's a badass club. You have a great time. Bring your wife, bring your friends. It's going to be a great time. You know, John, go out there, support him. If he's with Kerosene Shores, you know they're fucking destroying shit, all right? He's not going to play with anything but the best. So shout out Eric and all the guys out there, man. I can't wait to you guys. Uh, hopefully, can make some time to maybe do a corporate show, or maybe I can catch you all somewhere, maybe yeah. in SA in Houston. Definitely yes. want to bring bring the guys down to Corpus, man. And uh, thank you so much for mentioning Kerosene, man, and just bringing it to light. Uh, like I said, uh, it's like you said, man, I, I don't mess around when it comes to the music and uh, it's going to be a great, um, great chapter going forward with and And so I'm looking forward to it, man. Hell yeah. Woo, well, you know, so. John's going to be getting out. He's going to be in San Antonio. He's going to be uh, opening up for head PE over here with Relent. He's got a lot going on. All right. So whether it's Relent, whether it's Kerosene Shores, whether it's Knife Party, Get out there and show my man some love, all right? Yeah. And he's man. so approachable. To ask him for a picture, say what's up, John. If you're one of his Facebook friends, but you never said yeah. hi in person, say hi, man. He Thank knows you, who man. you are. All Thank right, you. just say what's up. All right. It's not like he's he he's ain't got time for you, or he's he, yes, he's in his own, but yeah. he's approachable. Appreciate he is approachable, you, approachable, man. man. Appreciate so you. and and if you got some, you know, we're all men here, and we're we're trying to be the best kind of men we can be, and yeah. we got a lot. Uh, we got a lot of resistance coming from from us from all different kind of ways that that kind of want to hold us back from being the best we can be. But with a strong mind or it's a strong body and with a great family and a wife to support us and kids that are are mm -hmm. doing their best at everything they got going on, um, we can all be unstoppable. Yeah. So I hope we can all be motivated by our talk tonight. 
it's always great having you on the show, John. I love you, man. And um, we got to talk again. Let's let's yeah. let uh, let's get some more some more time under our belt, and then we'll catch up again. It was, it was um, a great time, brother. I wanted to kind of reach out to to Marcus and Hector because when we did that that episode of the uh, of the um, I did my music trivia. Dude, mm-hmm. that was a fucking great time. It was. So you guys fun. are such a great combination of the it personality. So we had a fun. great time going over that stuff. So we might have to do a flashback on that. And I know yeah. Hector won that night, but yeah. uh, you know we got we're gonna have to rematch. We have to rematch. Shout out to Marco. Shout out to Hector. Shout out to my guys. Real quick and relent, man. I'm jamming. Well, JG Justin Garcia from Memories of Broken Glasses has recently joined Relent, and uh, Sal. Uh, Sal Domingos is back in the mix. He he took he did his time and yeah, get, getting, getting things straight. And uh, man, Morgan Ward from uh, Morgan Texas from Devils, Texas Devils jumped on base. So it's cool, man. Shout out to those guys. Those guys are nothing but great human beings. Um, and shout out to Mickey. He's he's overseas, and uh, you know, I I hear Marcos is gonna you know do uh. Make an announcement. I, I'm I'm unclear. I mean, I think everybody's just speculating, but I just hope you know that everything turns out for the best, man. You know, absolutely. Hey, Marcus is our brother. We it's love him brother. here. He's the pride of, of of South Texas, man. Yes, he man. goes out there and he represents us to this fullest. Man, there, we couldn't ask for anybody better. That's awesome. Yeah. Bro. Uh, he yes, loves man. us and we love him. And anything he needs from us is only um, it's there for the taking. Yeah. So whether it's the family, we love Michelle, we love every, the twins, yes. um, MJ, you know, he's a part of, of, of our, of, of Texas, of our music scene. Uh, yes. And like I said, they're, they're family to us. So we just miss, yeah. we want to wish the best to, to, to the Liao family. And uh, yes. Hey, we know Marcus got a lot going on, man. Swim he the does. And, he does. And, and he's he does. got, he's doing, he's doing a show. Uh, he's he's gonna be on the the Baldy's Metal Brotherhood. He's doing a Marcus and Friends. He's gonna do like oh. half an hour of covers. Nice. Yes, bro. So nice. that's gonna be nice, bro. So nice, he, he, he's always wanted to contribute to my fundraisers, and and this year um, he's gonna make it happen. So uh, I can't wait till that happens. You guys make sure you mark that date, October twelfth, over at the House of Rock, uh, of Baldy's Metal Brotherhood three. We're gonna have Gratitude TX. We're gonna have Ill Adjusted. We're gonna have Mighty Unclean. And like I just mentioned, um, we're gonna have. God damn, I had a brain fart right now. You have Marcus on there. Uh, we're gonna have Marcus and friends, and they're killing it, man. So yeah, it's gonna be amazing, dude. Oh, so, man, he's at, he's at what, the forefront, leading this whole thing for South Texas, man. Still, so big shout out, Marcus, man. I love you. Big man. shout out. Hell yeah. And before I let you go, I'm gonna be playing this Friday with my band War Cult over at yes. Boozers. And we're going to be opening up for Self God with our friends uh, from Botan, So Many Beyond okay. the Grave, and also Animus. And then catch okay. me on Saturday night. We're going to be having our drummer, Aaron Ramirez. It's going to be his birthday gig. We're going to be playing at the Black Monk. And you know how Fistful of Metal goes down. Three big sets, 30 songs of your Woo-hoo! favorite fucking metal. So come out there and have a good time with us. And uh, John, I love you, brother. Let's do it again. Yes, if there's anybody out there who ever needs to reach out and they need someone to talk to, man, I think it's it's fair enough to say, man, you could just message Tony or me or or any yes. of, anybody in this group of in musicians our can, that live down here in South Texas, man, in our in the surrounding areas. So, uh, man, I love you, Tony. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a great. Where are we at? Hour forty three. Time flies. We're having fun, baby. It does. So and let's like do it you again. Mentioned- before I let you go, we lost uh, a couple of great friends of mine. And I know you know one of them, Chris Garcia, from oh, yes. Worked Over Guitar Center. We just lost That's him a couple funny. of weeks ago. Um, and also my friend J.D. Sandoval. Um, great tattoo artist, great music supporter. Chris Garcia, always playing in bands with some of the Hershey from way back in the day. And always longtime founding member of Corpus Christi's own Sweet Daddy. Yeah. And... Just great people, uh, both Chris and, soul, and JD. Uh, yes, so, man. condolences to your family and all your friends. Your We're going to be doing a, a, a benefit helping out um, JD for funeral expenses over at Boozers on September sixth. So, visit us Friday, September sixth, and go by and and, uh, and help us out. It'll be a good show. And uh, I want to end it on a good note, and that is a good note because you yes. want we remember those we love. Yeah, man. they're in our heart. 
And that's what the Maldives Metal Brotherhood is about, is about remembering everybody that, that can't be with us today, the ones that beat us there, but the ones that are always so special and, and dear to our heart. Keeping, so, those, keeping, keeping their spirit alive, man. And that's that's right. Keeping their spirit alive because they're not forgotten. They're yeah. just, they beat us there. All right. Yes. And we're going to yes. get them there. So Love you, you guys keep up with John. All right. Hit him up at the show and yeah. check out Kerosene Shores. And John, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, Tony. Thank you for having me on the Tony Gomez show, man. Appreciate you. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys at the show. See you tonight. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. I'm just.